Hey, what do we have here, RC airliner fans? We've got the wings of my 737 MAX 7 with her 90 millimeter all aluminum EDFs installed. We have the wings of my 737-300 with her 80 millimeter EDFs installed. And last but not least, we have the wings of my 737-200 with her little 70 millimeter EDFs installed and ready to go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how I mount these EDFs to their pylons in this video. Okay, come on. Okay, so what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna mount this 90 millimeter EDF to the pylon of my 737 MAX 7. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, you guys ready? Let's get to work. Okay, before we mount our 90 millimeter EDF, let's look at the tools we're going to need. Handheld Dremel or a corded rotary drill, a regular handheld drill, uh, clamps like these, or any kind of clamp that clamps down, Phillips screwdriver various screwdrivers, carbon fiber rod, nuts and bolts. I like to use a locking bolt with teeth, but you can use whatever, you know, whatever you want you can use. It's very straightforward. Very, very, very simple. Believe it or not, many of you think that it is very complex. It's not. All of my engineering is very, let me take this mask off, and a dust mask, use a dust mask. All of my engineering is very straightforward. I've got two nuts and bolts right here. And if you look, you see something that's very peculiar. That is carbon fiber rod that I have CA'd to this about a two millimeter plywood EDF pylon for this 90 millimeter EDF. Now, that is the point. Very little movement. Now, this pylon, for example, does not have the carbon fiber rod. Look how much play there is. Look at that. Same thing with the 300. These 80 millimeter EDFs are gonna be mounted and there are the 70 millimeters for the 200, 737-200, and mounted right on that tab. But, let me get back to what I was saying. The carbon fiber rod, actually two right here, prevent that shaking. So, let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take this carbon fiber rod, and I'm gonna attach it right there just like that to this and that prevents that kind of fluttering it's very important and let me tell you something you use ca regular ca apply it to the carbon fiber rod and i'm telling you something it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere my friends There we are. That's damn near perfect, just like that. Look at that. Perfectly straight with the pylon. All right, we hold that like that. We take our clamp, take the clamp, and we clamp it right behind the first hole, or in the back end of it, because we're gonna drill our, hole, our first guide hole right there. Now the weight of this thing is actually going to pull the uh, it's going to pull the whole wing box down, the whole wing down. There we are. 
Now we got to make sure when that happens that it doesn't pull it doesn't pull the wing away from the uh, excuse me pull the EDF away from the pylon. Hang on here, I got to reset this. See, this is this is where it gets a bit tricky right here. All right, clamp that. Good. All right. It's clamped. It's holding. It's all we need to do. Drill. You take the drill. You line up and you just go right in. Straight through the plywood. Just like that. There we go. There we are. We take bolt and a nut. This is a clamping nut and it it sinks into the plywood. We also need a uh, we need a washer. Hang on here. Need a washer. A proper washer. Okay. There we are. Let's go ahead and there we are. Take our Phillips screwdriver. And let's hand, actually, that's not going to work because this washer is too big. Okay, not a problem. Let's get a ring washer. There we go. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. There we are, just like that. All right, let's hand Let's put it right through. You do this all by hand because you're just, you're taking your time. You don't need to rush. This is very important. You don't want to rush this. You take your, your clamp nut, place it through, let it adhere to the plywood. It, it, it's going to dig into the plywood. All right. And when this is all said and done, we'll come in with a thread lock. And you could even use CA to lock all these bolts and nuts in place. All you have to do is just hold that in with your hand. But if you want, you can come in with a, a wrench, or as the Brits, Brits and Aussies would say, a spanner. You can come in with a spanner and hold that and then just cinch this in into place and what's going to happen is the teeth are going to start to I don't know if you can see that the teeth start to dig into the plywood and once that happens that's not going anywhere trust me now we very carefully release the clamp all right, there we go. There we are. Clamp released. Holding this firm. We go ahead and hold that just like that. Take our hand drill. And go straight through. Just like that. Here we are. Let's do it again. Let's send another. Let's get another washer. Where and I've obviously I put it down, and then you lose it, and then you got to get more. See, there it is. I got another one. All right, good. Let's get another bolt and a nut. Here we go. Washer. Nut and the bolt. Make sure that the bolt and nut work together. Make sure that they're the right. Okay, perfect. Take it. Line it up. Like so. And send it through by hand. You can use a power drill if you want. That's fine. I don't really care. Do what you want. And we just hand 
send it in by hand. Take the nut, put it on the other side, the retainer nut. There we are. Cinch it in, wrench. Drive it in. Let's cinch that nut down. There we are. Nice. Look at that. There we are. You put some thread lock on there, some even CA. Thread lock is, is the best. And there you have it. We have one mounted. 90 millimeter EDF fully mounted on our 737 Max 7. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And you can take your hand and you just shake it around, make sure that it's secure. But I look I can eyeball that and know it's perfect. Yep. And then I'll just do the same thing on this side. Same exact thing. Just like that. And the same thing with the 737-300. Same thing with the 200. That's how you mount an EDF. Very straightforward. Very easy. You can either, you can either make things complex on yourself and hard and difficult, or you can make it easy with straightforward nuts and bolts, screws and plywood, carbon fiber, regular hand tools, screwdrivers, wrenches and spanners, CA, and you get the job done. All right, and that's how I mount, uh, that's how I mount my EDFs. I love it when a plane starts to come together.